Hello everybody, this is Val with This Is How You Should Do It. This is her fabulous bird. And we finna adopt it up and get it to cooking. It's already in the roaster that I'm gonna cook it in. And what I'm gonna do now is shoot him up with some butter and seasoning. I put some butter in here, put it in the microwave and melt it. Right now I'm looking for the thing I shoot the bird up with. And hopefully it's here. Here it is. One of these I uh, got with that mix that you buy at the store, but when you make your own, to me, it tastes better. This has a little sleeve on it, so I'm going to take it off. Uh, it just looks that way. Yeah, it does have a cover on it. See, it had a little cub on it. Rinsing it out, even though it was washed when I put it up. I'm gonna put some seasoning in my um uh, in my butter. It don't matter what seasoning I'm putting in it, it's whatever you like. Because the seasoning is going to cook and go deep inside the bird. Let me do this over here so you can see it. The only thing, uh don't put no leaves in it because it's got to shoot up in the needle. gonna take some butter I don't have to do this but I'm gonna do it today rubbing them down y'all rubbing them down That's butter and, and, and seasoning. Stick it in there.
Listen to that song when he talk a night fish and he's hunting women. That's when the cat little bite going to the club. All this seasoning in this breast, it's going to be so tender and so juicy just to eat it. You know how some, you know how we don't like dry meat or dry turkey? This keeps it from being dry. And I ain't talking about that mix you buy at the store. You get the needle from there. That's why I got the needle from. But this will make people that don't like to eat turkey like turkey. And Will and I was one of those people, even my kids, that didn't care too much for turkey because of the white meat. You don't have to have turkey just uh, on holidays. y'all because I thought I had a, some celery in there. This is celery. I thought I had a bell pepper in there too. I probably do. I just probably need to look in the uh, big freezer. But I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to dock it up like I normally would do a turkey. Oh, I put, this is what I did. I put my celery up during Christmas time. There's leftover celery. And, and I put it in a Ziploc bag and then I took saran wrap and wrapped it to make sure that it stayed fresh. But this is my celery. I'm sure to you. And I did some bell peppers like that too. It's still green. And this is, this is celery. Instead of letting the celery wilt and go bad, stick some up in, in there. throw some in here because I'm going to use the, dri the drippings to make some gravy I put an onion in here okay I'm just looking at the time just then make sure I ain't got too far out the way with y'all flavor y'all
Now I'm gonna put this turkey on now. About time will it get off work? It's 7:30. It's 7:30 in the morning. This turkey would be good and done. And then I'll put on some put some sides with it. I'm gonna look in the freezer see if I got some bell pepper in there. If not, we gonna keep it moving. Cause it's already shot up with, with lots of good seasoning. Right now I'm flavoring the um. Uh, once it start cooking, all oh, that's gonna flavor the bird. And I put the liver and the gizzard and the heart and the uh, neck sort of almost underneath the bird because if you put it on the side it seems to dry out there so it's going to stay moist with all the drippings going down over the bird to me and this is Val with this is how you do it I'm going to look for my um green peppers but I just wanted to show you me shooting up the bird and I will see y'all Maybe when it finish. And then I'm going to get myself together, get myself dressed. Enjoy my day. And, and this fragrance just get all over the house. And I will talk to all of you beautiful people at another time. This is Val. This is how you do it. See you next time.